I'm standing in the midst of my yard-long bean planting. The yard-long bean is a uh, specialty from Asia. Um, you can see here why they call them yard-long beans, because they're darn long. Um, you get uh, stir-fried green beans in a Chinese restaurant, if it's very authentic, this is what's used, not the regular American-style green bean. Um, here in Hawaii, I can grow the regular green bean, but I have problems with both diseases and with insects on them. The rose beetle chews them up terrible, and so I either have to spray or put artificial light on the vines to keep the, the beetles off. Uh, and there's also a series of different rust funguses and things that will attack the vines and send them into early decline. I can usually manage one crop of beans before they go down. Um, if I put them where the rain doesn't fall on top and where they're next to my house lights, then with the common string bean I can usually manage at least two crops off the vine before they begin to decline. Um, but this guy here, I was told by uh, one of my associates that this would grow on the island without any special care. And boy, oh boy, they were not kidding. I have not used any kind of an insecticide here, and we hardly have any kind of a chew. Even the slugs haven't attacked this thing. Um, the plant is also very, very resistant to the diseases. It's been very healthy and strong. We're coming right now into the beginning of the first crop, but I'm told the plant will work here as a perennial. It's got kind of cool lavender-colored flowers on it. Take a look at this close up. Check it out. This is why it's called yard long bean. Look at these guys. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, they're pretty good to eat. I have eaten them before uh, in Chinese restaurants. I don't like them quite as much as the French filets that I grow. Uh, it's common long skinny French green bean. Oh look, it's a twofer. Um, but the plant really seems to like it here. and uh, It likes my little trellis. This is made from uh, strawberry guava poles, which is an invasive species here. And then I've incorporated shoelaces. So the, the vines are held up by the poles, but they climb up the shoelaces. It appears quite abundant. There's, there's a lot of yield in here. I'm going to have to get busy picking. Um, pretty impressive. So if you're having any trouble growing green beans in Hawaii, I highly recommend that you try the Chinese yard-long bean. If you have any questions why this thing's called the yard-long bean, uh, I think that'll answer it, huh? Talk about a big thing, huh? Uh, it's quite a yield. That's just the first little bit of picking. There's a whole lot more beans coming on this thing. Uh, the only problem you're going to have is if, if you live somewhere where you use meters instead of feet and inches, uh, I guess you're going to have to call this a meter-long bean. Aloha. Have a wonderful garden this year. Thanks for watching.